Hey guys, welcome to the School of Athens News where it's all good all the time. OCO, today's June 23rd, um, Jeudi, Thursday. And this is episode 12, how to turn your bedroom at home or classroom at school into a Stone Age classroom. Higher level fun leads to higher level learning, which leads to higher level becoming. Um, in the book, I talk about a few different ways to create both a cave wall, simple to complex, or ideas for very, very um, simple. Uh, but still, you make a little cave, which is, is really cool, and it can be, there's ones that you can walk in and stand in. Um, simple stuff. But the most important thing is you're getting kids to go from just knowing stuff to being able to represent it. And Marzano calls that element 12, recording and representing knowledge. So here's an example. Uh, what does it look like? What, what do you mean um, this is what it means to be a good reader or writer? What does that look like? Can you draw it on your wall? Math, I don't understand. A three-digit number has three different place values. A ones, tens, hundreds. What are you talking about? Oh, I see you've drawn a cube. Th those are your ones? And, and you have ten of them on top of each other for a rod or a stick? Uh, that's that's ten. And I see how ten, ten ones are, are one ten. This is fantastic. Now, what about these square things here? Oh, I see. You've got ten tens in there. I can see that. And so 10 tens equal 100 or 100. So if you have a 2 in the hundreds place, you have two hundreds. You don't have 2. You have two hundreds. I wonder how many 1s are in a 100. Let them figure it out. This is amazing. And this could be homework. I'm going to assign. Uh, I, don't have to, I don't care if I have to pay for the paper myself. I'm going to assign uh, homework. That the, they have to come home with a sheet of cave paper. And they have to explain to their parents. They have to draw uh, what they learned in school, what they learn in reading and, and math and science. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I love it. I, I think it's going to be a great idea. Uh, kids, uh, find a way to make this happen. Um, do a chore if you have to to get the book. Go online. Oh, let me show you. This is what I want, wanted to show you guys. This is different ways that you can actually do this, right? Okay, watch this. That's very, very elaborate. If you didn't see the first one, you can rewind the video there. Uh, this is very simple. Hey, look, I don't know what to draw because after you represent your knowledge, um, f do actual cave paintings. Well, I don't know. Then get a book. See this book? They have them in things called libraries. And I'm not lying about the berries. It's library and uh, Paleolithic times, Old Stone Age. It, it's, it's very, very exciting. Um, and then look at this cave. This is a paper mache cave. This is, this is brilliant. Uh, there's a chair in there. And and then they have a walk-in, a really tall one. This isn't paper mache. This is just rolled up paper. And then, uh, let me get that. Okay. And then, hi, Cheryl. And uh, you distracted me there. Oh, this is also my favorite here. Look at this. In Michael. Um, I Look, this is just neat because it, it reminds me of the time my father rolled up a giant snowball during a blizzard in Ohio, turned into an igloo for us. It was fantastic. Anyway, this is what it can be like. It's very, very simple. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, Steve, you dream big, do big, be big, find the hero in you.